Doggone it, I found out today, guess who's a fan of the Ed Show? It's the drugster. That's right. Rush talking trash about me today. Rush, I tell you what, why don't you come on my program and we'll debate about anything you want to talk about. Come right here on the Ed Show. Be sure to check out my playbook tonight. That's coming up. You're going to love it. Welcome back to the Ed Show. In my playbook tonight, I'm going one-on-one -on -one with the man, Rush Limbaugh. This guy goes after me, little old me, today on his radio show. Listen up. Now, there's a show on MSNBC named after a horse, uh, The Ed Show, The Talking Horse. I think they brought the horse out of retirement to host the show. And uh, the horse, Mr. Ed, is talking to a former CIA officer, Jack Rice, about the Sotomayor hearings. And Mr. Ed, the horse says to the CIA officer, I, I think you come from a profession where keeping your cool is pretty important. Did she pass the test today? <laughs> I love it. Rush, I got a challenge for you. You know, why don't you just come on this program? Come on, buddy. Your audience would love it. Radio or TV and debate me about anything. Let's see how good you are, Rush. One on one. Let's go, buddy. You know, be safe as can be. Heck, MSNBC, we got HD, we got the wide screen, you'll fit in there just fine. Now, there's a history here. Back in 2004, when I started my national radio show, the Today Show came out to Fargo. Jamie Gangel did a story on me, said, oh, here's Ed Schultz, a liberal talker, going to do a national talk show. And Rush went after me on the air. He says, I don't know who this $4 an hour guy from Fargo is. He'll never make it. Well, Rush, here I am at 30 Rock. Hell, I'm doing you a favor. I'm giving you ratings. I'm promoting you right here, Rush. Come on, let's get after it. Your audience would love it. Your audience hates me. Your, your audience would love to see you just stick it to me, but you won't do it because you're a coward, Rush. I've always thought that. Always thought that. Now, here's what we could do. Now, listen. It doesn't have to be politics, Rush. I mean, I know you couldn't cut it over at ESPN calling football games. So what do you say we just take the field together and tackle one another, huh? Now, if, if you really don't want to exert yourself too much, we can go fishing and I'll show you how to bait the hook if you know how to do that. That's kind of a mainstream thing, isn't it? Or we can even take a page out of your old buddy's shooter's playbook and we do some hunting. I promise I won't shoot you in the face. Now, while we're at it, I'd kind of like to play some golf, too. I mean, I hear you're pretty hot shot at golf, too. You know, D Rush, don't tell me you cheated golf. All right, or here's an idea. This is an easy one. Why don't we uh, just go on back to the North Country and get behind my ski boat? We'll do some water skiing and we can do a little competition. Just how much in the mainstream are you, Rush? Take the challenge. Come on, your listeners would love it. You'd get big ratings. You'd, you'd show up Big Eddie on MSNBC. Who knows, maybe they'd even cancel my show. You'd be so good, Rush. Nah, you won't do it. Just dreaming.